earlier this year, be, there are some people out there that didn't like the way we covered things in America. You know, the, the things we do. And they decided, well, you know what? Let's just blow people up at fucking random. This happened earlier this year over in Boston. This was another big story that happened this year. That they're, the Boston bombies, the backpack bombers, we learned a lot about people who are using uh, pressure cookers and putting and just people carrying backpacks in general that they're just everybody's afraid of everybody carrying a backpack nowadays joe i know you said you carry a backpack back and forth to work and just because you know you don't know if you're going to get a ride or whatever and when this all happened you know the fact is that everybody was freaking out over backpacks i'm surprised not more people who carry them were were uh stopped and subjected to searches and seizures you know the, the whole thing with the, the Boston thing there was that there was two uh, people who had been – who were very young at the time, and they were indoctrinated is the best word I can think of – into al-Qaeda or an al-Qaeda cell of some sort, if, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, someone can correct me. But they were indoctrinated into this, into this radical Muslim group, and they were – they thought that you know what they were doing was right. And it wasn't, obviously, because the, you don't get attention by blowing people up. You get attention by, you know, speaking, using your voice. That's a good way to get attention. You don't need to blow people up to get attention. That, that it just It's fucking ridiculous. Joe, your thoughts? Yeah, touching on what you just said about um, people being scared of backpacks, why didn't more people get searched? Actually, during the manhunt for uh, the younger brother – uh, half of Boston was subjected to house raids by the cops. Yes, they, like, were. they were just kicking everybody's houses and like, like you know. And some people said that the cops came back three or four times. You know, they'd be mm -hmm. like, "Well, you already searched. Well, we're searching again." And they would just run through their houses with machine guns yep. and you know wow. check everything. I mean, I guess you know you had to do what you had to do, but it is kind of scary. You yeah. know, and it created a lot yeah. of fodder for um, for conspiracy nuts. Yeah. Um, well, there it was. The, it was basically martial law and. That, but the people, what was, you know what the scariest part about all that was? It wasn't the bombs. Is the people were actually saying, martial law, okay, go ahead. We'll shut everything mm -hmm. down. We will, you know, we'll let you into our homes un, you know, un, uh, unaided yeah, by think, us. I think the people were real good sports about it, a lot of yeah. them, you know, even though there was a lot of hassle, a lot of, you know, but, um, but yeah, I mean, Speaking of speaking of the conspiracy nuts, the thing that drives me nuts most about the Boston bombing is, I mean, it was a horrible, horrible tragedy. Yes. It hit close to home for me because I've been to Boston many times, at least a dozen times in my life. I've gone up there. Um, you know, it, it 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 was so sad to see like some of the horrible, horrible pictures of people with their legs blown off and stuff. It was just gross. And uh, you know, in the aftermath of that, uh, there was the manhunt. They caught. You know, they shot the one brother. They caught the other guy. Yep. And suddenly there was this uproar on the internet of everybody claiming that he was too adorable and too cute to He was done so it. cute. He was so hot. Yeah. He was hot. Yeah. How can somebody that hot be evil? Yeah. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's... <laughs> and this hashtag appeared on Twitter, Free Jahar. It's still there. People still go on there and still argue with each other about, like, conspiracy theories. They post pictures of backpacks from God knows where and say, well, this is the actual bomb backpack. It's not even on the guy's back in this picture. Da -da 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 -da. It's like, you guys are fucking idiots. Yes. But, Joe, jo, if he looked like Ahmed Mohammed, it, no one would have had a concern, but he was this oh, really absolutely. cute, young-looking dude uh, that he could be on GQ or something, and so mm -hmm. everyone's, oh, mm -hmm. you can't be beautiful and evil. Right. Uh, yes, you can. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and they even dress nicely. Like, the brothers oh, yeah. into, like, scarves. Yeah. Like, when I saw the pictures of him, I was like, damn, is he, like, a model or something? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. who cool. yeah. Who owns a scarf and a sports jacket just walks around like that? Like, you know, the thing was, the thing was, they were trying to get revenge for something or whatever, and he said he was going to... Uh, revenge his brother or whatever the one that got killed and the thing was he when he got shot he fell out of the car or or whatever but he ended up getting run over so mm. or, yeah the, the one that got shot the one that initially got yeah. killed and it was like what where, where's your motivation you know and the thing was and they found him they found the, the the other brother the one that survived in hiding in some guy's boat of mm -hmm. all places mm -hmm. right so it was kind of weird well, dur during the chase while they were on the run they carjacked a guy, uh -huh. and and in the during the carjacking, while they had this guy driving them around, they said to him straight up, like, "Oh yeah, we're the we're the Boston bombers." They admitted it to him. Yeah, you know, 
And they found bomb-making materials. Well, they, they found them in a dumpster because uh, the younger brother's roommates threw them away. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the roommates found bomb-making material in his, his dormitory. And, you know, like, I mean, they're innocent. He is innocent until proven guilty. Right. He, he hasn't stood trial yet. But, I mean, come on. Yeah. Really? Like, you're going to sit there and say, like, oh, it was a setup. It was... I've seen people posting pictures of trains saying, this is the FEMA train that was brought into Boston oh, to, uh, to, to, to oh. create this government you know, conspiracy. So they can you go can't let take facts get in the way of your conspiracy theory. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Connie, <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> your thoughts. Well, this was just, I, I think that what I hate about the terror is that it just, it creates such irrationality, you know, mm-hmm. and I don't know what motivated these young men, but I know it has something to do with somebody's beliefs about something, whether it was Mohammedism and, uh, you know, anything, somebody wants to skew something and, and, and make some stupid statement like this. This isn't a statement. This is, this is murder and it's mayhem and in just the worst way. Uh, I don't, I don't understand it. And I see yeah. that the uh, younger brother, his lawyer, they're still trying to fight and, you know, to have him avoid the death penalty. I don't know how I feel about the death penalty, but yeah, I, yeah I'm to not, me, there's I'm no, not... there's no, I'm sorry, there's just no, uh, question in my mind that he is actively pursuing it even if he was deceived by his own mother doesn't matter at some point you're responsible for your own actions that's right and absolutely no, i know i know i completely agree no yeah. I, when it comes to the death penalty i i am against actually the death penalty only because yeah. of the simple fact is people always say oh we'll just kill him and get it over with no you can't there there's a lot of appeals there to cost the, the cost alone to put somebody to death Cost more than to keep him for years for uh, on end it's locked up. Even if we put him in a box and throw away the box, we still have to feed him and house him in the whole nine yards and make sure he's got heat and blankets and 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 skivvies and or whatever. And it is still cheaper to keep him alive than it is to kill him. Only because of the appeals process is so fucking expensive. If well, it, at what point is there is somebody beyond rehabilitation? And why why yeah. isn't more time or thought put into yeah. how we can help somebody become more reasonable, rational, right. and figure out what's going on. But it, yes. And, you know, the, the other thing about that is if we put him to death, then he becomes a martyr. And that's yes. the last thing we need to do. And that yeah. gives him more power. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. They have more power in death, you know, in that regard, in the psychological state, state you know, that they're, they're more powerful dead than they are alive in some cases, only because of that psychological state. Sister Atheist, your thoughts? Um, well, I was sitting there listening. I was reminded of after 9-11 when they passed the Patriot Act. Mm-hmm. And I remember all those uh, uh, smaller government uh, conservatives all about the Patriot Act Oh yeah, at the time. Are. Now, today, however, I can't find one who said that they agreed with it. But I live in the South. And I remember when you, even if you tried to speak out against that, it was like, no, you know, we're trying to we're doing what we can to protect ourselves and stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's funny what people are willing to give up. Oh yeah. Uh, to to feel comfortable, I even had a little uh, signature at the time that said, uh, "Those who and I'm paraphrasing, those who would uh, give up uh, liberty for security deserve neither." Right. Basically, and I got so much crap from a, a conservative friend for that. You don't know. You're not a politician. You're an artist. You need to shut up. Blah blah blah. <laughs> but I went. But I went a bit more funny than when I. You you, you, the, don't, uh, you don't you don't you don't work in the government. Why exactly. should you get a voice in what's said? Uh huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Exactly, and so I just find it funny that that's where people went, and not only there, but to the conspiracy theories, like they did with Sandy Hook and stuff. People, stuff doesn't just happen anymore. Everything's a conspiracy now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sandy mm-hmm. Hook's a conspiracy. The bomber mm-hmm. yep. thing's a conspiracy. You know, the, land, the the moon landing never actually happened. That's a conspiracy too. Exactly, yeah. all that's conspiracy. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, the government's really busy with tons of conspiracies, and yes. they can barely run the DMV. <laughs> 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 and, no, no, and we know nobody wait can, a minute that's a great point next time you say someone says yeah the government's got this conspiracy go to the dmv you tell me you tell me you go there you stand in line for fucking four hours to get your name changed on your on your license plate or your car and you tell me that the government can put down a fucking conspiracy to keep everybody hiding from this one little fact fuck exactly. that that's one bullshit little fact, and like thousands of people involved with it like yes that. exactly if we had that many people involved in that kind of conspiracy we could put them to work at the dmv yeah. <laughs> get some 
stuff done. I yes, think right. that's an excellent point. It's like anytime anyone c- c- claims a, a government conspiracy, just point to the DMV and say, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't work, no fucking conspiracy is going to work. I mean, it's true a, in every state. We need a meme state. of that, You're from the Joe. South. I'm from exactly. New York. Exactly. <laughs>